Hey guys, Deathmog91 here. So can we get 10 likes for Catherine? And yeah. So, <laughs> that was an interesting first episode. Just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Yep, totally necessary. He thought he pissed the bed. <laughs> That's funny. No, no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Many years. I'm asking you. It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but. I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled Hey, out. change it! The Chief match is on! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? You know, what do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. You know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> Not like you. 
I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. What Paul? That Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It was a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah, the mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit, no way! Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They always try to push their agenda for rating. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning... I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream. I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? going stick around I, I don't want to go home just yet so why don't you have Catherine meet you here no i just saw her today besides she'd get mad at me if i told her ah jeez. what does she see in this poor fool sorry but i gotta be in early tomorrow don't drink too much okay all right take care vince see you later Sorry guys, I know uh, commentary wise, th there's not going to be a ton for part scenes like that. That literally went on for what, like 7 minutes? But, it's part of the story. I hope Atlas doesn't actually flag me down for this shit. Uh, but they're usually good about stuff like this. Okay. So, first diary, let's go ahead and save. Uh, I'll just go ahead and erase that data. Yeah, I was only like three hours in, so that's not that bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Okay, so we got messages. Okay. Uh, when you spend time in the stray sheep, you'll receive text messages on your phone. You can reply to them. Uh, some of them, some of these messages, depend on how you reply. Vincent's feelings and those the person writing to you may change. Blah blah blah. When you press confirm button, a new line will be added to your reply. Press the cancel uh, to erase that, blah, blah, blah. Like I said before, I have dinner. I'm having dinner with some old friends. I'm surprised most of them are already married and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing uh, pictures of their families making me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of the comfort our comfort zone too. Congratulations! You have successfully completed stage one of the underground cemetery. Go to awards on your cell phone. Check your best score. So I'm guessing awards. Okay, if I wanted to, I could retry it, which is kind of nice. So yeah, there is a lot of drink. There, yeah, there is a bit of drinking in this game, guys. No denying that. But yeah. Well, hopefully I'll be able to get more commentary in, but until I don't remember how this shit went. There's a lot of puzzles, and then there's a lot of scenes like this.
Okay, so... I don't know what's going on. But I'm gonna... Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. Um, hopefully, next episode we'll get some more gameplay or... At least be able to get some more commentary in. Which, unfortunately, I mean, it, it's gonna be like this most of the game, which I think is gonna suck. But then there's... It's just getting the story set up right now, so... Usually the first hour of the game kind of sucks with that stuff, but, you know, once it's all said and done, it should go by pretty smoothly, and it should be pretty interesting. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.